Hello YouTube! I am Don Marshall, the obscure Lord of the Rings facts guy. Welcome to round two of Let's Open Some Magic the Gathering Cards. Chat is here saying hello as well, and we have got our set booster round two. Now, obviously we didn't get Tom Bombadil last time, but that's okay. You'll see him because what you're about to watch is a compilation of the best moments of this whole stream. If you didn't catch the stream live, that's totally okay. We will probably be doing these again, whether it's pulling cards, uh, playing Magic the Gathering with guests, or just all in all just having a great time over on Twitch talking about Magic the Gathering. So if that interests you, come on over to twitch.tv slash donmarshall72 and we'll see you there. Da -da -da -da. Ooh! Ooh! Herogrim, Sword of Rohan. That's a deep cut. That is a very deep cut. Herogrim. Equipped creature gets plus two and plus two and has protection from green and white. Oh my gosh. That's... That's pretty good. Oh, that's our rare. We put that off to this... Whoa! And a mythic rare! Hi, Galadriel Elven Queen. This is... This is the commander... Uh... This is the commander... Uh... Uh... For the... The Galad... For the... Uh... Blue-green deck. Oh, man. Oh, there's a glare on the cards? Hang on. Let me let me change that up. There we go. Is that better? There we go. Oh, man. Okay. Well, that's cool. I did not realize that she was in set boosters. That makes me very happy. All right. Cool. Eric and Brand. Okay, so here's another fun, obscure Lord of the Rings fact. Eric and Brand is actually the one that Gandalf goes to get with a bunch of the Rohirrim to save everybody from Helm's Deep. It's a good pull. It's a good pull. I like Eric and Brand. Ooh, that's a mythic rare. Hello, Watcher in the Water. Hi. Well, that was unexpected so early. We've pulled two mythic rares and I've pulled three packs. Ha <laughs> ha. Okay. Cool. Um. Oh, okay. Uh, sorry, every time I pull something good, I always want to try and provide an obscure fact. Here's a fun obscure fact about the Watcher in the Water. So Gandalf in the Two Towers has this really cool line. I'm going to paraphrase it, but it's something along the lines of, Far beyond the deepest delvings of the dwarves, the world is gnawed by nameless things. Basically meaning that there are creatures that even Sauron doesn't know about in like the deep places of Middle-earth. Personally, I'm of the opinion that the Watcher in the Water is one of those nameless things that maybe got brought up in in you know some sort of waterway or dam of some kind and uh that the dwarves did and i i really like the lore uh behind the watcher in the water um just from that sort of um like that that's almost cryptid kind of thing um so yeah yeah i'm a huge fan of that one and i really like this card all right Oh, yes! I don't have this one. This is the scene card with Gandalf and the Balrog. And there's Boromir. Uh, and I believe Legolas and Pippin. With the, with the, I think that's Pippin because of the hair. Boromir is a great card. His sword is huge, though. <laughs> Do you see that? That's amazing. So this is, this is really interesting. Because you... When you think about Lord of the Rings, right, I you're thinking about, like, typically when I heard about this set, I was like, oh, cool, can't wait to see all the characters. It never occurred to me that, like, the instants in the sorceries would be moments. And the moment the orcs rush in the room uh, in Moria, when, when they're in Balin's tomb, never would have occurred to me to make that a card. Uh, but they did, and I thought that was a really clever way of, of um, kind of going about capturing moments rather than specifically characters. So I thought that was a nice little touch. Basically, here's a fun obscure Lord of the Rings fact. Trolls were created as a kind of attempt to mock slash mimic Ents. Um, so it was sort of like this distorted version of, well, you have your big creatures, I have my big creatures. So nice little uh, obscure fact and a nice little nod to the, uh, to the troll fighting the Ent. Although it looks like the Ent is winning uh, by a large margin. <laughs> so, <laughs> like it. Oh, Yorith! I love Yorith. Yorith, another fun... I'm just full of obscure facts tonight. Yorith is the um, healer from Gondor that tells Aragorn um, that you can use Athalas, the king's foil, the weed. 
So she plays a really important part in uh, making sure that Merry, Pippin, and Faramir all live. So like, yay. Okay, hear me out. The artists who drew the food for this card set did not have to go so hard because I literally, like, I feel myself start to salivate whenever I see this card, whenever I see the food tokens, whenever there's food on any of these magic cards. I, lit I like, I've Pavlovianly trained myself to do this. So thank you to whoever is doing it for these food cards. So thank you so much. I am very grateful. Old Man Willow. Okay, so fun fact, uh, there are not Ents, but there are sentient trees uh, living in the old forest uh, by where Tom Bombadil lives. So this is Old Man Willow, and he tries to eat some of the hobbits, and Tom Bombadil uh, frees them. Uh, but yes, it is, it is very much implied that Old Man Willow is um, one of the Huorns, which is, uh, again, obscure Lord of the Rings fact. Uh, the Ents that have just, like, sort of grown old and sentient and st still sentient, but, like, don't want to move anymore. I identify with, uh, with who warns a lot. Oh, Sting! Okay! I don't think I ha did I- do I have Sting? I don't think I have Sting. That's great. Equipped creature has plus one, plus one, and has haste. At the beginning of each combat, untap equipped creature. Wait, at the beginning of each combat? Oh, at the beginning of each combat! Meaning not just my own. Ooh! Equipped creature has first strike as long as it's blocking or blocked by a goblin or orc. Ooh. So it's got a good use in regular. Good use in standard. Good use in, in commander. Mmm. Because every combat, you attach this to somebody, you're basically getting a vigilance creature. Oh, that's so cool. That's so cool. All right. Didn't realize that. Oh, and there's a mythic Gandalf. Wow. Okay. Sting and the mythic rare Gandalf. Okay. Okay. I see you. I see you. This is a good pull. This is a great pull. Escape from Orthanc. Isolation at Orthanc. You know, that's two Orthanc cards in a row. Fires of Orthanc. That's three Orthanc cards in a row. I am suspicious now. I don't know what I'm suspicious about, but that's three Orthanc cards in a row. If it's four, it's not going to be four. But if I pull like an Orthanc related card as like my rare or mythic rare, we're going to, we're going to, we're going to have to talk. Mountain. Okay. Well, at least it wasn't that, but let's see what happens. <laughs> that was weird. Our Saruman. I believe this is the Saruman of many colors with his little magic hand thingy. Love that one. Oh, hang on. Artist is, I believe I pulled this one already. Yes, Alexander Markov. Or Ma Makov. Yes. All right. Ooh, a foil Mirkwood bat. Fancy. Oh my god! I literally just pulled your art card, dude! Well, if that's not a good omen, I don't know what is. That's so cool. Oh, I didn't realize they did his feet, too. Oh, man. He's he's probably gonna be one of my commanders. I'm I'm thinking I go uh uh white, blue, black, right? Yeah. Yeah. Mmm. That is a good card. I've I've got like three Saruman of many colors. Ah, oh, I love that one. Love the glowing hands too. That's a nice touch. Oh, and a Nazgul! Ha 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 ha! Yes! Oh my god, these are these are fairly rare. Oh man, this was a good pack. All right, I already have this and technically it's not what I was looking for. But we did get the Tom Bombadil art card and it looks lovely. Start drooling again. It's second breakfast time. And Lembus again. I swear they're doing it on purpose now. I swear they're doing it on purpose now. That is the second time I have had a second breakfast and then a Lembus. They are trying to make me hungry. Bill Fernie. I am very tempted to rip this card up because I don't like Bill Fernie. I'm not going to because he's kind of useful. Oh my god! Well, would you look at that? Good. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. You know what? 
There we go. Yeah, you know what? You know what? Here's your clippable moment, TikTok. I just pulled... Hang on, let me, let me do this properly. All right, listen, TikTok. I just pulled a Bill Fernie, and then I pulled a Bill the Pony. And you know what? That's what I think of you, Bill Fernie. I'll be selling each half of this signed by me. Uh, we're going to have a raffle at the end of the stream. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. No, 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 no. There you go. There you go. Yeah, that's how I feel about you, Bill Fernie. Also, I have like six of him, so it's not a huge deal. I mean, I, I, I've pulled the three things that I wanted to, technically speaking. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> this is the one I didn't have last March of the Ends, which is perfect because the person that asked about rarity, I get to show off. This is what's called a mythic rare. They are very rare and they are usually very powerful cards. This one specifically, very powerful card. I will read it to you. And then I will sort of explain to the non-Magic the Gathering folks what it is exactly. So it costs 8 mana, which is a lot. You can only get this out usually by like turns like 5 and upwards. Uh, this spell can't be countered, meaning you can't get rid of it. Your opponent can't get rid of it. Draw cards equal to the greatest toughness among creatures you control. Toughness is like its defense. And usually if you're running this card, you're running it in a green deck, potentially with some really tough cards. So like it's not uncommon to have a toughness of like 7 to 10. So you could potentially be drawing 7 cards. That's really good. Next part of the card. Put any number of creature cards from your hand onto the battlefield. So if you draw 7 to 10 cards and 4 of them are creatures, you've now got 4 creatures out on the battlefield without paying anything. It is, mm, I love this card, and I haven't pulled, this is the full art showcase one for that scene. Uh, I'll, uh, I love it. I'm, I'm kind of speechless right now. That's so cool. That's so cool. Oh, I love this card so much. That was one of the ones I was hoping I would pull. Whoa. Okay, so you're ready for this. Hang on, is this the one? Yeah, 2004. You're ready for this? This is a non-Lord of the Rings card, but I own one of the originals. This card, I believe, came out in 04, about a year into me playing, and I pulled it. This is the weirdest, like, not deja vu, but it's so weird to see that card. Oh my god, that's wild. Cool. All right, yeah, all right, you got me there with the little nostalgia thing. All right, I see it. I respect it. I respect it. Okay, Mana Geyser. That's so wild. Battle of the Bywater. Oh, and a second Nazgul. Oh. Well, okay then. I guess I'll just uh, pull a second Nazgul, why don't I? Okay, okay, okay. Orc army. Oh, hello. Hello. Full art, rare sting. This is from the scene card where uh, Gandalf is fighting the Balrog. Oh, man, that's beautiful. That's beautiful. And it's great, too, because I just pulled another sting and I can use this one in the deck. Fantastic. Fantastic. Oh, and another mythic rare. Hello, Dawn of a New Age. What's up? Oh, and flame. Oh my gosh. Whoa. Okay, so these two are from the same set. Uh for excuse me, from the same scene. Oh, look at how that uh sting glows in the light. That's really cool. Does it show up on camera? Yeah, that looks great. And Dawn of a New Age Mythic Rare. Love that artwork. Love that artwork. Ugh. Okay, I kind of wish that was my last pack. That was pretty good. That was pretty good. Yeah, they're they're both foiled. All right. Well, folks, that's going to do it for me. Thank you so much for being here. I have one more ad read. So you get the anchor voice back one last time. <clears throat> uh, 
A big thank you to the sponsor of this stream, Magic the Gathering, <clears throat> and the Lord of the Rings, Tales of Middle-Earth. Thank you for sponsoring today's stream. The Lord of the Rings, Tales of Middle-Earth is available now on Amazon. Use exclamation point MTG in the chat. You can also get them digitally on Magic the Gathering Arena or at your local game store. Just use exclamation mark MTG in this chat or click the link in my bio. Thank you all so much for joining. I'm going to stop this voice now because it's very silly. <laughs> all right, Landraval. Okay, now the last time I pulled an eagle, I pulled another eagle about 10 seconds later. So let's, let's see what happens. No. Well, technically, technically there is an eagle's claw. <laughs> That's two eagles in a row. That counts for me. That counts for me. 